Welcome to the Sly Gittins Tech Simplified channel and in today's video I got a great video for you and we're going to be talking about Intune application protection policies, how to license them, um, where do you go to enable them and what does it actually accomplish so if you're trying to protect your organization this video is for you so make sure you watch this video to the end. First thing you need to know is what licenses you need to activate these application protection policies within Endpoint Manager or Intune. So the first thing you need to have is either a Windows EMS Plan 1, Plan 2, or you can have a solution suite such as Microsoft Office 365 Business Premium, E3 or E5. If you have any one of those, you'll be all set to watch this video and implement these applications and policies in your environment. So the first place I need you to go to is admin.microsoft.com because you can do some basic implementation if this is your first time making an actual um, application policy. Microsoft made it pretty easy just to get you to dip your toe in it to just get started with the application policy. I have no real reason or explanation why I put puppies in this video, but I just wanted to make you smile. Let's keep going with the video. So I created a few of them here just to save some time. So you're going to see some different categories that I can influence. The one I like to talk about is a lot is you can prevent users from copying company data to personal files. And since a lot of us are working remote, this is essential. And another thing you want to take a look at is you can also enable recovery of protected data, protect additional company cloud locations, and what actually applications are protected. Um, there you can see those there and who will this apply to so if you want to go a little bit deeper you can actually go into the endpoint manager then you can go into applications and then you can go to application policies and you're going to see the same applications that it was in the admin portal reflected here but the great thing about it you can dive even deeper you can unlock windows information protection mode where you can block data transfer within um, the local device itself you can also do things such as creating a network perimeter or leveraging a proxy. Um, you can revoke encryption keys. You can allow Windows search indexers. You can prevent corporate data to be being accessed by applications when it's on a Windows 10 device. Right? So there's some other things that you can do. You can also activate and deploy different type of Windows Hello features. So let's go take a look at some other stuff that you can take place. If you want to use Windows Hello to sign in like a pen. Um, biometrics you can definitely leverage this if you want to change the password you can all do that here within this one application policy and you can make it for for users who are enrolled into that device or not enrolled into that device see like slide so why did you tell me all of this what was the great thing about this is because since we're working remote it, we have a tendency to think that our applications and our devices cannot be secure but with Microsoft Intune or a mobile device um, unified endpoint management solution like Microsoft Intune you can definitely get that done with a few clicks of a button as you saw there it was pretty clickable I had two different policies one policy for Azure um, AD join devices and some policy that are not joined to Active Directory because those might be personal laptops but you still want to protect that applications and ensuring that that company data your business data is secure and not being misused from that accidental um, breach of security so that was a quick video that I'm dis that I took the time to discuss and tell you how to configure application protection policies but the learning doesn't stop here um, another video I want you to take a look at on my channel is go out and watch the video when I create a device compliance Intune policies because that give you another idea on what we could do on the device side and if that wasn't enough I have a whole lineup of Office 365 certification training videos um, different certification videos um, and different product information that you can leverage and take your career to the next level and I also have some great career tips that I have for different roles within the IT security field but I like to hear from you how do you use application protection policies in your organization and what do you recommend other people like yourself to implement when they're thinking about a robust application protection policies so make sure you comment below inside of the actual comments 
And until next time, Sly Gittins is out.